Alright guys, what's going on? It's the Lemon King here, back for another Minecraft Redstone tutorial. And this tutorial is on how to make a wool slash mutton farm. And I know I haven't done a redstone store in a while, so if you know what these tutorials is in armor, on my armor dispenser, this one I don't even know what this one is anymore. But they're on my channel somewhere in the redstone section, so if you want to go and look them up, you can find out how to make these awesome devices. But yeah, today's the wool slash mutton cooker dispenser thing. And basically how I got this idea was one of my friends was actually started a series basically on YouTube. And the only thing he had in the non-hostile mob thing like house thing exists, he only had two sheep. I have the entire thing, like just two sheep. And he was like, how do I like automate this so I don't have to keep like breeding them and doing all stuff I can't just do it myself and make it easier. Well, I thought about this for a while and it took a while for me to like think of this idea because you have to have them grown up and then you have to have them only the grown ups go to death. And then you have to find a way to kill them without killing the items. So basically I found a way to do this and we're gonna get this thing started. So basically what you need for this is one redstone dust, two or four torches, one repeater, one comparator, two buttons, one sticky piston, one block, five hoppers, three dispensers, three droppers, one chest, seven slabs of your choice, an oak fence or any fence of your choice really, two signs, uh, any block of your choice, two lava buckets, and a bucket of water. So let's get this thing started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do to start up this thing is dig a three by five by four deep hole. So three wide, and then one, two, three, four, five, and four deep. One, two, three, uh, yeah. That little guy, one, two, three, and four. So you have your, dang it! You have your three by five by four deep hole. So now what you want to do is find the centermost portion. This should be one, two, three. There's two on each side, and one on each side of this one. And then what you want to do is take your hopper and have it facing into that block, so it's going there. And then all, then what you have to do next is on this middle block, you want to have the hopper going into that other hopper, so basically how you do that is if you, you my, if you hold shift to sneak wherever your sneaky is, you have to shift or control and place it into that block. If you don't, you're going to open the inventory. You also want to do it from here into that block and from here into that block. So once you have that done, you want to go onto this block here and then take your sticky piston and face all the way up onto this top block up here and have it facing down and place your redstone block underneath that. Alright, so now what we want to do is take your block of choice and your dispensers. Make sure they're, dis they're the dispensers and not the droppers or else it's not going to work. So basically what you want to do is put one block here and one block here in the corners of the redstone and put your dispenser up here and dispenser up here. Then you want to fill in these gaps by putting your block of choice here, block of choice here, and also block of choice here, and block of choice here. And you don't want to fill in this hole yet because we're going to be using that a little bit later. Alright, so basically the reason you don't want to put a block down here is because you need room for this redstone block to move down, so if it doesn't get the chance to put something here, it won't move down, it'll break the machine. So what I'm going to do is cover up these two right here, and then hold shift again, and jump up, oh, right there, and do that, and then you want to get one of your half slabs out, put the half slab up here. Then you want to take your two signs, so I got, oops, I forgot where one half slab needed the other ones. Slab. Six. Then we get your two signs out and place them on these bottom blocks here just because when the lava comes down you don't want the lava to come in and burn up the sheep and destroy all the items that drops with it. 
Alright, so having said that, we're going to put the lava bucket one in there. The middle slot. Because I like to fix it more orderly. That in there. Then what you want to do is across from the piston here, you want to put your other dispenser and put that in there. So basically that is the one dispenser. And then finally what we want to do is create an outline around the thing on the edge. You may notice that the lava pops out, but just to ignore that for now, it's because we activated and then closed up the redstone circuit. Alright, so now what you want to do with your remaining half slabs is put one half slab on this block and one half slab on this block to cover up the lava. Then one half slab on top of the piston. And then hold shift again and put one half slab on top of the dispenser. And put your last two remaining half slabs on top of them. And then you want to come up to the front of the machine, which is on the left you should have your piston, on the right you should have this. Then what you want to do is put one button on there, one button on there. And basically what that's going to do is if you press this once, it'll drop down the redstone and eliminate lava. And you press it again, it'll come back. And then what we want to do is have this one, and this will activate the water, and deactivate the water. Alright, so now what you're going to do is you're going to make an entirely new section. You want to come on the side with the dispenser, and you want to break a 2 wide by 4 long hole like this, and then go down 4 more times, so it's a total of 5 deep, so 2 down, 3 down, 4 down, Four. Two, four. Is that right? Looks right. No, let's go down one more. Yeah, one more down. Just thinking about this. Uh, and then you want to get your one block here. And then you want to take your droppers and stand on top of this block and make sure you're facing up. Hold shift and go straight up. Wait, those guys. So that's those three right there. Alright, so now what you're going to do is you're going to make an entirely new section. You want to come on the side with the dispenser, and you want to break a 2 wide by 4 long hole like this, then go down 4 more times, so it's a total 5 deep, so 2 down, 3 down, 4 down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 4, is that right? Looks right. No, let's go down one more. Yeah, one more down. I'm just thinking about this. Uh, and then you want to get your one block here. And then you want to take your droppers and stand on top of this block and make sure you're facing up. Hold shift and go straight up with those guys. So that's those three right there. All right, now it's time for the redstone technical part of it. You want to go back down into the hole. And then you want to take another block and put it right here. Take your wrist on the comparator and get on this facing away from the dropper. And then you want to put another block right here. And then on the back of this block, you want to put a redstone torch. Put your one single piece of redstone here. And then your repeater going directly into that block right there. Alright, so now what you want to do is remove this block down here and put another redstone torch. And that should power up this block, this dropper right here. Then what you want to do, do is place a block on top of this torch and place a redstone torch on top of that, and place another block on top of that, and place a redstone torch on that one. So that'll power up that. And that should be all of the redstone torches, repeater, comparator, redstone, sign. So now what we got left is these few things are right there. Alright, so one more thing I forgot about this. You gotta change that. That has to go on that back block here. You can't really see anything about it. That's what that's where that's supposed to go. Then you want to take your one chest and put it right here. it. Then you want to get your fence just to make sure the sheet don't pop out and keep it secure. You go in there. It is a snowy day. It's nice and snowy now. It's snowing. It's a beautiful day. So, so yeah. Alright, so basically all I did here was uh, I just covered up the area so it's not snowing on our parade. So basically now you can just cover up. Uh, uh, Cover up this area remaining right here. Get rid of any excess snow. <laughs> now basically we're going to see how this thing works out here. and I'm going to have to break some stuff just to make sure it works for you guys. But basically how you're going to do it 
is you spawn in your sheep so you go right here so to spawn in a bunch and that's where you're gonna put your sheep now let's just spawn a bunch here so it's not going to be very easy to see what happens, but I think you'll get the point. So basically, let's get some wheat out here. Basically, what you do is you press your water one, and it'll rise the sheep up to the top. And it'll keep bouncing the sheep, so that's how you can hit all of them with the wheat. I think I did. I think I turned particles off, so. Uh, ooh, particle, particle. Uh, there. And you can see the hearts coming out, so you just do this so you can get all of them bred. Okay, so that. And then you drop them back down. So, what that will do. Sword for this one. Why not? Try that. As you can see, what happens when you come down to here is you have let's just get some glass. Just to manipulate this. Just so you guys can see what's going on. But all the baby sheep will get pushed down into the area down here because they're only one block high and the regular sheep are one and a half blocks high so that won't give them the room to fit so the baby sheep will drop down to here and basically why you put that sign there is because if you kill the baby sheep and burn them they don't drop anything so you don't want the baby sheep to drop but once they grow up to be that one and a half be that extra block that extra half a block higher then they will drop stuff. So let me just fix this issue. It's a lot of baby sheep down here. But basically you have to wait until they're all grown up in order to get this thing to work. So I'll just pick this back up. And then we'll put in the normal sheep. Oh no, don't want to let you out. Stay in there. Let's pop a bunch of normal sheep into there. So now the babies have grown up and they are normal sized. So the lava will be able to hit them and it will kill them. And they'll have the same thing will happen on the other side where we maybe another hop or two. So it's just oh Jesus. Hi sheep. So just plop down. I know, no, no, no. Okay, you're fine. Go go free. He will not be cooked today. So that's that. And then we'll close it back up. And then we'll go over and fire the lava. You see them burning. All in synchronized. And then it should. Should be dead. Dead yet? No, there's not die. Let's try this now. There was a lot of baby sheep that were down there, so let's try this. Oof, they all died. I'll fix this for you. I think I know what I did wrong. Though. I think, I think I did wrong. Okay, uh, I know what I did. Oh, they're all getting stuck on this hopper, and then we need another hopper, and then the hopper goes there, and boom. Now you can see the rest don't work in here. It's just like a clock, it ticks in, and fires into there. I've got about that. And cover that up. And then there you go, there's the production. So that's all I was going wrong with that. 
So that is how you make a wool slash mutton farm. And it's all going to come up with this here. And yeah, so if you enjoyed this and this is helpful, please remember to leave a like if you greatly appreciate it. Comment down below if you have anything else that you want to see me try to build for you, need help with something, I will be glad to attempt it. And if you haven't subscribed already, it would be awesome. Right now my channel has 90, or yeah, 9,200 views, so again, up for the 10,000 mark, that'd be amazing to hit. But we're getting there, so can't complain. So that's all I got for you guys today, so hopefully you enjoy your wool and mutton, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.